Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. National Security Advisor and Royal Guard Commander Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired the Kingdom's delegation at the annual Dragon Group meeting in London. The meeting discussed cooperation in fighting terrorism, piracy and smuggling and highlighted military coordination and defense to address challenges surrounding the region and maintain its security and stability. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stressed the importance of meetings to meet the requirements of joint military action and agree on ways to enhance military cooperation. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received at his office in Al Wadi Palace the President of the International Association of Athletics Federation, IAAF, Sebastian Newbold Co. He is currently visiting the kingdom. His Highness Sheikh Khalid welcomed the guest and conveyed to him the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and his wishes of success to the association. His Highness reviewed with the IAAF President the development that Bahraini athletes have witnessed, through which it proved its capability to achieve remarkable results and win continental and international championships, especially in the Olympic Games. His Highness Sheikh Khalid discussed with co the means of bolstering cooperation in sports excellence and competitiveness to achieve joint successes and develop international athletics. He wished the association success in carrying out its duties and making achievements that contribute to developing the sport. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council of, for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Board Chairman of Al Mustaqbal Youth Society, Sabah Abdurrahman Zayani and members. The society launched Smile Initiative, which is concerned with providing psychological and social support to children with cancer and their parents. His Highness praised the remarkable contributions of the Bahraini youth in serving various sectors in the kingdom under the reform project of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He also hailed the tremendous efforts of the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to enhance the youth's role in developing the society. His Highness praised the role of the society in serving the youth sector in addition to children with cancel, cancer. He expressed a keenness on more achievements and steps to develop the youth and voluntary work. He got assured about the social, family and health conditions of the children with cancer who are cared for by Smile Initiative. He directed to integrate those children in various sport and social activities and take the necessary procedures to provide them with the needed care. The board chairman and members extended most sincere thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Khalid for meeting recently with a number of children with cancer who are affiliated with the initiative. His Majesty the King's Advisor for Diplomatic Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, participated in a discussion session on the future of the Abrahamic Agreement as part of the World Economic Forum 2022 in Davos. Sheikh Khalid stressed that the signing of the agreement supporting peace between Bahrain and Israel reflects the wise approach of His Majesty the King, based on openness and communication with other countries and promoting the values of dialogue, tolerance, and understanding. He also noted the keenness of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in cooperation and supporting relations with brotherly and friendly countries. He stressed that Bahrain will maintain its consistent approach and position in support of the Palestinian cause and the rights of the Palestinian people in order to achieve a just and comprehensive peace. Sheikh Khalid added that the signing of the agreement is one of the important developments in the history of the entire region. The Minister of Labour and Social Development, Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamidan, inaugurated the 9th Career Day Symposium and Expo for the academic year 2022, which was organized by the Applied Science University and with the participation of 60 private sector establishments. The Minister affirmed the important role of educational institutions and training centers in supplying the Bahraini labour market with graduates equipped with the professional skills needed by employers, noting that during the past year, curricula and training programs have been developed to keep pace with the successive economic and technological developments in the labor market. The symposium and expo aimed to introduce uh, the students to the employment opportunities in the private sector and rationalize the youth's choice of the required specialties in the labor market. The event also served as a platform bringing together the graduates with the participating parties. The World Organization for Animal Health declared Bahrain free of the Quine Plague. 
Bahrain gained international recognition for its accreditation among the list of countries free of equine plague by receiving a certificate from the organization which was handed over by the Director General of the World Organization for Animal Health, Dr. Monique Elliott. To the Director of Animal Health Department in Bahrain's envoy to the organization, Dr. Fajr, Fajr as -Saloum. As part of the organization's 98th annual conference, for his part, Sheikh Adhij bin Salman Al Khalifa affirmed that this recognition comes after Bahrain's file passed and was accepted by the Veterinary Scientific Technical Committee of the Animal Health Organization, which confirmed that Bahrain's file has successfully completed all the health requirements and standards that are a prerequisite for the adoption of any country within the list of countries free of the plague. Tim Keen announced the launch of the first batch of the cooperation initiative with the International Training Academy General Assembly to provide the necessary training in the technological field for Bahraini caters next July. This initiative is part of the first phase of training 1,200 Bahrainis in coding and other basic technology skills over the next two years. The Academy opened registration for two specialized courses in the field of data analysis, during which extensive and intensive knowledge will be provided based on the preparation of projects that will provide the necessary practical experience experience for the trainees. The Executive Director of Program Development and Partnership at Tamkin Ali Hassan stressed the importance of developing the skills of Bahraini caterers in the field of technology and helping them develop in light of rapid market changes in line with achieving the objectives of the Economic Recovery Plan. The International Monetary Fund expects that the Bahraini economy growth will increase by 3.4% in 2022, with non-oil GDP increasing by 4% driven by increased growth in the industrial sector and a complete reopening of the economy. The International Monetary Fund stated that the current outlook for oil prices provides an opportunity to continue carrying out ambitious reforms in light of favorable macroeconomic and financing conditions to put debt on a steady downward path. Bahrain is keen on committing to the reform agenda that it set and articulated in the econo economic recovery plan and the revised physical balance program including ambitious reforms to reduce the public finance deficit and public debt for the interest of the country and the citizens. Bahrain International Airport was acknowledged by Airports Council International ACI Asia Pacific as one of only 12 airports in Asia Pacific and the Middle East to receive the Green Airport Recognition 2022 Award for airports serving 5 to 15 million passengers. BIA was presented with the Silver Lever Recognition for its overall efforts to minimize its impact on the environment and for demonstrating exceptional best practices in its decarbonization journey. The Green Airport Recognition Initiative promotes environmental best practices and acknowledges as ACI Asia Pacific Airport members with outstanding accomplishments in their environmental projects. BAC Chief Development and Technical Officer Abdullah Janahi said the Bahrain Airport Company is committed to operating BIA as an environmentally friendly and efficient facility, adding that through the airport modernization program, significant improvements were met ahead minimum or minimized the airport's environmental impact.